Hello, I'm Dean Kobe, and I'm going to show you how to reconcile a bank account in I-21. So let's get started. Cash management, bank reconciliation. So when I come into this screen, I can do a search and I can see all my previous reconciliations and for which bank account. I'm going to work with this bank account for the month of September. I can see I've done it for the month of August. Now it's time to do it for the month of September. Also, just so you know, you can reconcile a bank account as often as you like. So you can reconcile an account several times throughout the month if you think that'll help you out. So let's get started on this. One. So I have my bank statement that I printed off from the web. Pick my bank account, and then I want to reconcile this for the month of September. Now, just so if you notice here, if you pick October, some October transactions will show up. But we're not interested in those for this reconciliation. We just want to reconcile the month of September. So I'm going to enter my bank statement balance, 16,351.04. So my, this is the difference I need to reconcile to. If you notice here that our GL balance and bank statement balance and reconciliation balance, all three need to tie. So the GL balance and the bank statement bank account balance, the variance is zero. The bank statement to the bank reconciliation is not zero. So you see here I have AP checks, bank transfers, and then I have deposits and bank transfers. So as I cl clear the appropriate transactions, I can see my difference change. So here I've cleared a check from August that cleared in September. However, I have a September check that did not clear, so I'm going to carry that over into my October reconciliation. So here I've done, except I'm still out of balance of $14. So upon reviewing my bank statement, I see I have a couple of transactions I haven't recorded. So one of those is the bank gave me a little bit of interest income. So here I have a couple options. I can leave this screen and I will not lose anything that I've changed. And then I can record that transaction and then come back in here and clear it. Or I have the ability to just go ahead and enter the transaction from here. So on, since what I'm missing is on the deposit side, I'm going to add a deposit. So I'm going to pick my date. A little bit of interest income, and it was seven dollars. Click OK. So behind the scenes, it posted everything it needed to make the GL work properly. So it debited this bank account and it credited uh, th this income account. So now I need to clear that item. However, I'm still off $21. So upon further review of my bank statement, I see I have a bank fee that I've not yet recorded. So I can go ahead and add that here. or. Like before, I could leave the screen, enter the transaction, come back in here, and then clear the transaction. But I don't really need to leave here. So let's go ahead and add it. I'm going to pick my date. I'm 
then select my appropriate GL. And in this example is a little bit of interest expense. And that was $21. Click OK. So now you can see that transaction shows up on the withdrawal side. And once I clear that, I am no longer out of balance. So now that I've completed my reconciliation, I go ahead and tell I-21 to go ahead and reconcile. Yes. And let's say he has to go ahead and print our reconciliation report. And here, this is complete. Now, you can also attach a PDF or Excel document or whatever you have to this bank reconciliation. So in the future, you don't have to look for your bank statement and then look and you know, compare your numbers to this report. So now you can see we've reconciled this bank account for the month of September. That is how you use the bank reconciliation module. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other training videos.